how much RAM do you need for Fortnite? So if you're confused on whether you need to upgrade your RAM in your PC or if you have the RAM which is perfectly fit for Fortnite in the current season. Now the minimum requirement for Fortnite is as you can see on the screen where you need a graphics card of an Intel HD 4000 on your PC. Processor is an i3 third generation processor. Operating system you can use anywhere from 7 to 11 with 64 bit. And the RAM, which is the most important, is an 4GB RAM at least. Now, there has been a confusion as Epic has mentioned that 4GB RAM is required, and the PC players are trying to make a PC with like 6GB RAM or 8GB RAM, thinking that it is more than the minimum requirement. They will get the best possible performance out of Fortnite. But unfortunately, they are not getting or they are not satisfied with the performance and the FPS which they are getting in 8GB RAM PC even though the requirement is 4GB RAM at least still they are not able to get the satisfactory performance or the FPS from Fortnite. Well the reason Epic said that 4GB RAM is required is absolutely correct and legit but there is a small little change. Fortnite was made in Unreal Engine 4 when it was first released in 2017 and it was completely fine back then and perfect in 4GB RAM, it worked perfectly, even I had played it in 4GB RAM without any issues. But the recently, from December 2021, Fortnite have switched to Unreal Engine 5. And it's about to be like an year in like a couple of months. But unfortunately, if you are out of those players who are still using 4GB RAM, will definitely have performance issues and FPS problems in your game. So basically, if you're still trying videos and trying to find videos and reading articles and all those things on how to improve performance and you're not getting the good performance out of Fortnite, well, here is your answer. The reason is most probably your RAM. Since you're on Unreal Engine 5, that is the game is running on Unreal Engine 5, 4GB or 2GB or 6GB RAM is not enough. In some case, even 8GB RAM is also not enough to run a game which is made or which is running on the engine of Unreal Engine 5. So if you're still a player of 2GB RAM or 4GB RAM, it's definitely time for an upgrade and I would suggest you to get at least 16GB of RAM in order to get best out of Fortnite. The question arises that, do you need an upgrade for the 8GB RAM users? Well, you can definitely consider an upgrade as well because 16GB RAM in 2022 is the most optimal RAM for gaming and even in Unreal Engine 5, which it is designed in such a way that 16GB RAM is optimal for whichever title you're playing regardless if it is Fortnite or not. If you're playing any other game and all the future games are coming in Unreal Engine 5 only. So if the games are coming in Unreal Engine 5, you will definitely need at least 16GB of RAM because 8GB of RAM would be enough for that. So if you want the best out of Fortnite, I would recommend you to get a 16GB of RAM. And moreover, if you're currently right now in 8GB RAM and if you just switched immediately to 16GB RAM, you will see a whole lot of difference in the performance section. If you're using one stick of 8GB RAM, I would suggest you to put another stick of 8GB RAM over there, which will make it a 16GB RAM and see the change in the performance you will be amazed to see how much improvement it will get, how much more FPS you would get out of the game. But I believe that even in 8GB RAM, you will get around 80 to 150 FPS if you have a decent CPU and a GPU, though you may get stutters here and there in the game, but still it is playful, even though if you've like thought of improving the performance and if you're thinking of getting an upgrade to 16GB RAM, you can expect at least 50 to 70% improvement in the FPS of what you're currently getting without me knowing even what kind of CPU and GPU you're using. So for me, I would highly recommend you to get an upgrade and try to get a dual channel upgrade. Now for those players who didn't understand what dual channel means, let me explain you with an example. Let's say for example, you're going to buy a 16 GB RAM for your PC. Let's say you already have an 8 GB RAM it would be better to get one more 8GB RAM and then fit it over there in the PC slot. Now, it is very much smart to have two 8GB RAM stick rather than one 16GB RAM stick. So when you have two 8GB RAM stick that we call as a dual channel RAM stick, and when you have one 16GB RAM stick that is a singular RAM stick. The advantage of this is that if you have two RAM sticks that is of 8GB, first and foremost, it will cost a little bit less as compared to what one single 16 GB RAM stick would cost. And moreover, using dual channel two RAM sticks, what it does is it communicates simultaneously in separate channels to operate your computer and run program significantly more faster. Therefore, running a dual channel memory will provide you a significant performance boost to your PC 
regardless of the actual size of the RAM. Now, if you are currently unaware of how much RAM your PC has, you can refer to these steps. Now, if you are unaware of how to know how much RAM your PC has, here are the steps you can follow. First and foremost, what you need to do is you can go to your start button in the corner of your PC and type in run over there. And this small little thing will come up. Here, simply you need to type DXDIAG and press enter. So once this opens, as you can see over here that there is a section called as memory, as you can see it reads 16384 MB of RAM. That means in my PC I have 16 gigs of RAM. You can also try this, it will automatically tell you how much RAM it your computer or your laptop currently have. Now if you have certain issues of and you're not able to upgrade, let's say you're stuck with 8 GB RAM, you can do some of the steps to improve a little bit of performance out by setting up your virtual memory. To do so, these are the steps which you need to follow. Just go to your disk PC again, and from here, go to properties and click on advanced system settings. Go to the advanced tab and then click on settings. This time you have to go to the advanced tab over here, which you can see, click on it, and you will see something called as virtual memory. Simply click on the change button. Now here, as you can see, automatic managed paging file size for all drives are selected. That is my 16 gigs are allocated as you can see it's written over here but I need to manually switch and we will put a little bit of less value here so first untick this the automatically selected click on custom size as you can see the minimum allocation I can do is 16 megabytes and recommended is 2925 megabytes and in the custom size I'm just gonna put the initial size as 2024 that is up to you what you want to put I just want to allocate 2 GB of RAM in this drive and the maximum size, how to find it is very simple. You just have to go and open your calculator. And in the calculator, you just have to type 2024 multiplied by the amount of RAM you have. I have 16 gigs of RAM, so I'll multiply with 16. That is 32,384. So I will simply go there and simply type here 32,384 and simply click on OK. So as you can say that this changes requires to restart a computer. So just restart your computer and see your performance. TV or someone has a different combination because I have even seen people using like 12 GB combination, which is like an 8 GB of RAM stick, which is paired with a 4 GB of RAM stick. The good thing here is that it is a dual channel RAM stick, but the combination I didn't understand that it is a 12 GB RAM because just giving like a few little bucks, you can get like a 16 GB of RAM, which is most optimal for gaming rather than having like a weird combination of 12 GB RAM. So I would highly recommend you to get a 16 GB RAM. Don't think of like I have an 8 gigs of RAM. I can use a little bit of money and get a 4 GB RAM and make it 12 gigs. Well, you can do that, but that won't be smart because just adding a few little bucks, you can just get a 16 GB, 8 GB of RAM stick and just combine it with the previous 8 GB and make it 16 GB rather than having a 12 GB. So make sure you get 16 GB of RAM and make sure that don't forget to do it in a dual channel. You can also try quad channel as well that is like 4 RAM in like 4 different slots. Just make sure before ordering or before buying do check your motherboard does it have 4 slots because if it is a very old motherboard in that motherboard like 2 slots came. Nowadays all motherboards are 4 slots so do check it before you purchase your RAMs and you can even get a quad channel as well like putting 4 RAMs that is 4 GB 4 GB in 4 different slots that will make it 16 GB as well. So that was a video I'm pretty sure your confusion is gone and it will tell you that whether you need an upgrade or not in currently what situation you are and if you have any kind of questions regarding the video you can comment down in the comment section. If you have any other issues here is my Twitter handle you can just post a screenshot tag me over it I will try to help you out as soon as possible. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.